Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my hometown, Chesterfield. That there, it's River Rover. And if we spin camera around, that there, it starts at Chesterfield Canal. Guess where we're going? Cuckoo Way. And the plan is to follow it its entirety. 46 miles at River Trent down old towpaths. Come on. I'll let you into a little secret. I'm not planning on walking it. I'm gonna try and bike it in a day and bike back tomorrow. Now hopefully somewhere down Trent End I can get hammock up for at night. Well, lock number four and lock number five I've just passed and according to that little mile marker I'm four mile in 42 to go Set to jump off it, cook her way onto Transpennine Trail. Oh, great central railway track bed, this one. It's, there were a bit of construction work going on now, just at the back of that edge. It's canal, it's returned to the side of me again. And I think there's a lock here that's open because everywhere else on this section here is just a swamp, it's just a muddy pit. And we've had quite a bit of rain. So it might get me really bad over there. Oak Central Railway track bed this. Took away is literally five yard outside on me. But I have walked that section before. I'll say for the last sort of three mile I have been on uh, Trans Pennine Trail because that footpath is just overgrown and I'd still be in first hundred yard on bike trying to get through it all. Wow! <laughs> I don't know if you can make it out there, just in gaps at trees. That's where I've just come from. It's probably only what two mile away down to kill a marsh. That was so tough trying to get through there and keep Wick Canal or as close to it as I can. Ah, that was tough. Them paths were brutal. It's probably took me an hour to do them last two mile. It were it's pretty much been walking all the way. You just can't ride a bike through that. So I'm 15 mile in on my total journey. Uh, first three and a bit of that were from my house to the start at Canal. Uh, and I think I forgot to mention. We're in South Yorkshire, there's M1. This is horrible and I've just looked down at my legs from coming through all that through Killamarsh way and I'm ditched already, I ain't got any spare bottoms. Oh, oh no, I've got to sleep in these or be cold. I figured I'd be going under or over at motorway sooner or later. Guess we went under. Now, signage for this place 
or for this trail it's garbage they just, just didn't done i've just seen a couple down there so at least they know i'm on right track but then there's a little splitting path down there and i ain't got a clue and anybody who knows me knows i don't do maps well i've just had to do the most unblokish thing ever and ask somebody directions shame on you anyway i eventually found canal lots of signage after that little bit and then all of a sudden it just disappears again you get forks in paths and it doesn't actually tell you where they are so and i'm starting to think it's the most beat up path ever i'm beginning to regret this i think Don't worry, it's not that Wales, it's little village in South Yorkshire. Finally, that's what caused all trouble. That's a tunnel. It collapsed turn of last century and uh, that side of the canal just went into disuse, disrepair and just overgrown and God knows what. Now, from this side onwards, eastern side, we should have water so it should be fairly easy to follow. It's all right, isn't it? Now, thankfully, towpath looks in good nick, so I should be able to uh, get my foot down and get some mileage ticked off. Now, it took me ugh, three hours to do 14 mile. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Not on a bike. That ain't too far off my walking pace. Now, I've still got a long way to go. So I've crossed border again, I'm in Nottinghamshire, just been through a little town of Worksop. What a building that is. And an aqueduct and all. River runs under it. Yay, 23 mile in. About halfway be by reckoning. It's uh little bit of 10 to 2. So, about five hour to do 23 mile, that is bad, really bad, but look at track, they just didn't want. Uh, through works up round Shire Oaks that way, a mount of barriers, gates, it were, it'd have been quicker walking. I think that there is A1 I've just gone under, I'm not quite sure, I know it runs up this way somewhere so I'm presuming that's it. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm struggling. It's this path or lack of path, it's killing me. Yeah, I really hope we get to some sort of concrete or just, oh, soon, oh, other than this, this grass, it's bleeding horrible. I'm going to push bike, carry my big bag, humidity levels are mental, it's horrible, <laughs> and I've, I went past, uh, I think it was 26, mile marker 26, what, half a mile ago, so I've still got another 20 mile to go. Well, it had to happen, didn't it? Just past mile marker 28, and... Uh-oh! So this one at day. Yay, all fixed. I had to stick a new tube in it. Uh, I've actually seen people. While I've been mending that, three people's gone past me. I've seen one since works up and he came off for a boat. It's bonkers. It's uh, 
Mind you, I can see why it's bleeding horrible. <laughs> These paths are nasty. And uh, it's as I thought it were. It were a thorn that had punctured it. Come straight through. Oh well. Right, so it's nearly half past four. Just been through mile marker 32 and town of Retford. Not far to go now. This is just the worst ever trying to get through here. This is what it will like at workshop. I hope it doesn't do this all the way to Trent because that workshop one nearly forced me to quit. It were, uh, after five mile of that I thought I can't take any more. I'm, I'm not doing that all the way to Trent, no way. No, luckily path opened up so I'm hoping this opens up because if it doesn't, it's, I'm not going to get there till dark. And it's what, five o'clock now? Just before I got to that right posh bridge, I stopped and let this couple come past. And uh, got to talk to them, told them where I'd come from, blah, blah, blah. Asked him what state path were, bloke. He said, oh mate, as soon as you go past Drake Hall's tunnel, about two mile down there, he says, it's fine, it's lovely and open. I think he's a liar. Got less than five miles to go, and we're back in this shit. I hope it's not like this all the way to end. Because it's, it's, you won't believe how brutal it is pushing a bike through there with these things on your bike. See guys, we made it, 46 mile at Cuckoo Way, although my computer says 52.43. I think that might be because I took a few details. <laughs> now, I'm in a dilemma now, I don't know what to do. Because there really ain't nowhere around here to put an hammock or even a bivy bag, because I know I've got that in my bag. <clears throat> so, I think... In fact, I think first things first, I'm going to get some treats because I am absolutely starving. I've had bits all day. So I'm going to sit on this wall, make me food, that wall, make me food, and then consider my options what to do. I really need to get this bag off my bike because it's a bridge with it. God, about five, six mile away, I think it were. And something's sticking in my back. I reckon I've knocked all frame out. Yeah, I thought I had. Guess that's what's stabbing me at bike. And did I hit a bridge? That nearly put me in. I'll say, I hit it and uh, thought my neck had snapped. Thought we were going backwards into the canal. Uh, all good fun. Welcome to Rob's kitchen. Thought we'd try something different from uh, boiling bag jobs. You can't beat a brew. Right, I've had my dinner for what it were worth. It weren't particularly good, but it filled a gap. So, jobs are good. And right, so dilemma time. There's not really uh, anywhere around here, unless I bivy bag it out back of this wall, but I think my bike will get seen. So, I think I'm going to head back on road because I certainly ain't going back down that canal. It was bad enough in daylight, never mind it dark. So I think I'm going to go back down road and I saw a spot at side at canal that I think I can remember where it were to jump onto from there, blah, blah, blah. And I'll basically have to do an hammock camp, I think. Also, I forgot to mention, this is a challenge, Danny. Nah, I was running an hour and about challenging him to this because uh, I know he ain't got a bike, but I questioned him about it and he says, oh, I'm on a bike, get him one. So 
hey, job's good. And I told him what I'm doing. He says, well, if I can't, I'll just borrow one. So it's a challenge, Danny. So challenge is, Dan, you've got to come down Chesterfield Canal, Cuckoo Way, Alt Way to West Stockworth Basin from Tapton on your bike. And as for camp, you can do any you want. Tent, tarp, bivvy, hammock, I don't care. You can even stop in a bed and breakfast for me. I'm not bothered. I just want to see your uh, video of coming down that cuckoo way to see how brutal it is on you. <laughs> Good luck. Right, guys, it's about quarter to 11. I'm uh, not too far from that spot. I'll run about them woods, I think. So... I'm going to uh, drop all the lights and uh, go and find my way into them and uh, I'll catch you in the morning. Right guys, it's just coming up for 4 o'clock in the morning and I've bailed. I bailed probably what, about an hour after I set up. It, it was just too cold. I got that much moisture in my clothing from sweat and walking through that long grass. It was just, it was horrible. I just couldn't get warm so it was like, you know what? sod this i'm not getting new money for no one i'm off so just got on bike and hammered it i'm gonna wrap this one up so as always guys thanks for watching please give us that big thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't already and hey i'll see you on next then